Welcome, everyone, to Your World, Episode 2. I am your host, Matrix Lord 212 and I'm with James. What's up, James? Hey, guys. All right, dude. So, how you been? Yeah, I'm all right. Uh, different is 2017 now. I can't, believe, I can't believe how fast the world's expanding, right? Yes, we're about yes. To, we're about to have, a, we're about to have a, a major election in the UK, so that's quite oh, well. that's interesting. All right, so I don't, I don't know if you're familiar with this type of podcast, but... We have fans on our show, and a lot of people want to know about the individual members. Now, I don't know how far this podcast will go, because a lot of people don't want to, like, talk about their life. But, um, you know, you're going to be the star of this one. You know, and you can say whatever you want. You can talk about whatever you want to do mm-hmm. with you. Um, you know, I figured we, we get into about you being a big video gamer, um, that people probably don't know that from... You know, you do talking about Doctor Who and stuff on our casts. Yeah, yeah. I know. Yeah, so why don't you give us a little bit of details about that? Uh, I am pretty well known in the Call of Duty community because I was the very first. Uh, every every company has an ambassador program, like Xbox have an ambassador program where people volunteer. I'm the very first Activision ambassador, so I was the very first person to join the program. Activision, the biggest publisher in the world, they make games like Guitar Hero, Skylanders, lots of kids like those games. Call of Duty, obviously. Stuff like that. I help them out, and I'm pretty well known in the gaming community for that. Uh, I also love video games. My favourite type of video games are probably horror, but old school. I'm a bit of an old school guy. Right. Uh, my favourite video game of all time would probably be... I, I'm, I like the first Resident Evil. Right. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I, when I worked in the video game industry, I was always close with the Activision representatives. And whenever they had Activision contests um, for the district and everything, uh, most of the time I won them, to which they, they awarded me one time a box of video games, $500 in traveler's checks. I mean, I really sold my butt they off. I was, the when they want to be, don't they? <laughs> I was the number one in the entire company sales of Spider-Man 2 that yes. time. And they rewarded me heavily with that. So I, and again, I'm a Spider-Man nut, so I always love the actors. They uh, publish most of the movie games as well. Mm. Spider-Man, Amazing Spider-Man, stuff like that. They like publishing those. And they're very good. They're actually, even though they may have some very bizarre business practices, they're probably one of the most generous companies to their employees and people who do well for them. Uh, So I really like, I wish I could work for them. But I don't live in California. If I did, they'd probably offer me a job immediately. So, uh, Now, you started with right? Xbox, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, I, but I have all the consoles now. Okay, uh, so originally you started with Xbox, and then yeah, you worked your uh, way to... 2005 was my very first console, uh, the launch Xbox 360 with Call of Duty 2. Uh, okay. Then I went to PS3. Uh, I loved the PS3 uh, because my Xbox... I think they kept getting the red ring of death, if I remember. Yes, everybody had that at one point. I had to buy another one, yes. Poorly made, poorly made consoles they were. Uh, then I went to Xbox One for a while. I got a PS4 a few months ago. And I like having, I don't like uh, most, the thing with gaming is it's very expensive these days. So to for people to only have one console is quite normal uh, because having both consoles is very expensive. But to the gamers out there, I'd say, if you have the opportunity to have both, do it. Because you can play more games. Yes. And they're probably for me because I, I I'm very I'm a very depressed person. A lot of people suffer from depression. Most most of us, in fact, have demons. Most comedians are depressed. Not a lot of people know that. Uh, for me, gaming is an escape. Uh, but the biggest escape for me is Doctor Who, always. And TV shows, my favorite TV shows, which are all ended now, aren't they? Flash and Arrow, they're all gone. I know. Now Taking a break. Yeah, now all we have to look forward to is to the Walking Dead. Yeah. No, I <laughs> know. Well, Game of Thrones, hopefully uh, soon. Yeah, well, Game of Thrones in July. Yeah, yeah. which is a month later than normal. Uh, the trailer was awesome. Do you see the trailer? For yes, that? it was amazing. I loved it. Very, very, very good. Uh, but I'll tell a bit about me and the Dot Two community. I joined the community in July. Well, I was in the community a bit before that. You know, in comment sections. I joined the podcast community July 2013 on the Omega Files. Then I went to your cast about a month later on two podcasts and never came back. <laughs> you were a uh, post office boy. 
that's the one. The reason why I was called Post Office Boy is because I used to have, uh, in the UK, the post office actually have a broadband uh, division. Mm. And nobody bought it because it's the worst broadband in the country. <laughs> right. It's terrible, right? It's like, uh, you know, like, you remember dial-up? Yes. Uh, a bit like that. So I'd always disconnect in a podcast and they're like, oh, the post office got him again. Right. So that's where the name came from. It became a bit of a parody, though, because uh, late over the years, I went to normal internet. So then if I ever, if somebody really boring was talking, uh, maybe somebody from Ireland, I think we all know who that guy is, would talk too long. I'd probably pretend to be post office <laughs> and, you know, so I got an excuse. Well, I got to say, I in my early days of podcasting, I, I didn't learn that, you know, I was talking over people. So I think I, I've evolved a lot more where I'm letting people talk now than ever. But it wasn't meant to be. It wasn't like I did it on purpose. It was just everybody learned. It's like so. being uh, keen. Yeah. You're just keen to talk and you don't really. Very passionate. It. Yeah. Yeah. That's the one. Uh, so I joined, I was in the Omega Files to, I say, latter half of 2015. And so we all split there. Then I was a bit of podcast homeless mm -hmm. until about halfway through 2016 when I joined you again, mm -hmm. should we say. Uh, been a weird journey. Uh, well, you appeared on Who Cruise too. Yeah. Oh God. <laughs> yeah, they weren't the probably the the biggest part of my life, but <laughs> they were entertaining. Uh, I didn't really speak much to them. If you watch them, uh, I don't really speak much. It's more right. the, the other. I think there was like twenty five about the fake host, whoever that is. <laughs> I wonder who that is. I wonder who that mysterious. Yeah, I wonder is. who that is. Yeah. Oh, I was also on the Hoovians, uh, but a few. Now, I didn't join Who's initially because that was a big split with you, obviously. We won't go into detail on that, but people know the story behind that. Yes. I joined Who's in 2015, and that was one of the partial reasons why I was excluded from the community because I did do editing for them, and the initial thing was people accused me of recording Zooms of being a traitor, being in another cast, how dare he? Uh, that's all forgotten now. We used, to have, we used to have Freedom of Podcast, and then after a while, there was no yeah, Freedom of Podcast. podcast. Meaning Freedom of Podcast, I dubbed that. People could be in other podcasts and nobody would care because everybody's friends and everything. And, and it's not, you're on my podcast. No, no. Everybody would be in everybody's podcast. Back when we had uh, Who Harmony, all these other different things. And everybody was just, you know, the Who Means podcast, Who Harmony, a lot of stuff. So, uh, but there's not that anymore, unfortunately. So. Um, well, I... I think I, I survived quite a long time being harmonious to podcasts because the Whovians was a really good show it, initially. I mean, I have a lot of respect for Mike Shannon um, and I did a lot of editing for them. My editing style was a lot different to others. I would enhance the video, not edit people out like you know who would. Uh, yeah. <laughs> right. See, my thing uh, is, look, I, I, I even though I don't talk to people or everybody's separated, I want as many people as possible doing podcasts on Doctor Who. Because I remember a time when Doctor Who was canceled. I remember a time. So I feel that the more people, even if they're enemies, they're doing their own shows, they're keeping the show alive by promoting it themselves. You yeah, know? It's, so, called, um, it's called healthy competition. It's good to have a competition yes. with podcasts. Uh, it is great, actually. Your show is quite unique in the aspect that you are the star, should we say. It's different to other casts. Uh, the Whovians is more... Everyone, you know, is. I mean, you do let people on, obviously, but you know, you are the main part of the show. I would oh, say. So you mean they have other hosts and stuff like that on the other shows? Yeah, yeah. You take more of a leading role. Okay. Um, I do miss a lot of people in the other groups. Uh, I did make an apology video today, but that's because I used to troll people quite a lot. <laughs> yeah, I, I recall. I think. Yeah. I'm probably known in the community for making the most troll videos. Most of them very poorly edited, obviously, because I'm British and that's not what we, we don't put effort in. Sorry, but I just had a subway. You, you were quite an adversary of mine, I guess, at one point. <laughs> yeah, I was definitely everyone. Um, people, but I will say behind the scenes, I was manipulated quite a lot by some entities, not on the Oak files, but they're all cool. Mm -hmm. um, won't name names, but a lot of people would encourage me to make these videos, yeah? Yeah. Uh, most of my videos are not made because I decided to. I'd say about 90%. Somebody has said, oh, yeah, 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 do that. You I know, see. and it'd go from there. Uh, you know, sometimes I do go too far. I think the reason why I do them is because I I like to make people happy and laugh. You know, that's my... Yes. Well, I found that things with the with the Hitler 
uh, mad at uh, this one and mad at that one. Those are pretty funny. Yeah, they're, they're, funny. Uh, they're all privatized now. I mean, uh, maybe they'll make. A I thought they were hysterical. When you made, I think you made a few on the real movies. I found it funny, but yeah, they were. But I, I did go off track. I mean, I made some terrible videos about steampunk star racing, which I do regret. Uh, but they're okay. deleted. They're not privatized. They're deleted. I'll, I'll talk to him about that. That'd be fun. Yeah. Well, it's not fair. It's, whatever anyone's done, it's not a good idea to put them down when they're already down. Yeah. He needs yeah. more positive in his life. I I, I just always wanted to know how you saw me as a dictator. <laughs> Some of your oh, from the from the, the real Whovians Hitler. Yeah, I like you know when that, when that was uploaded. It was early 2014, so that was um, in your prime, should we say, where you had more oh. people in the cast. Should we say, you know, the the you had the Tims, you had the I see the, the arrival of Mike D, uh, Mike Shadow. Well, you know, a lot of people don't realize how many people we have in the show now. It's just a lot of people are busy. I mean, if I actually got everybody in one room, I'd probably be surprised. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the Everything Show the other night, you had about 10 people, give or take, when they were, never they're online or off, yeah. And that's only because I, I was off. Because if I'm, I'm usually working through the day, so by the time I do my podcast, it's very late. Even for you, um, doing it at 10, 11 o'clock at night, my time, or 4 or 5 in the morning, your time, you know, but if I'm actually free during a day, what would happen? <laughs> it's like, yeah, yeah, it's weird. Yeah, true. It's whenever people are available. Um, yeah, so I remember making that video. I, I can't remember why I made it, but a lot of people found it hilarious. Uh, they're my best videos when I do them as parody, and people don't take it too seriously. It's when they take them seriously that it gets very bad. So I decided, just for the sake of it, I delete all of them. Uh, some of them have been privatized, so the ones which are actually quite funny, like the Hitler videos, they're not deleted, they're privatized. Well, let me ask you a question. What, what changed your mind about, what gave you the decision to delete them, I guess, today or yesterday? I mean... Was there something um, that happened that just made you feel they, that this is... Because new people will find them and it will cause new drama. For example, a new person in the community may see them and think, oh, let's go attack that guy or that girl, you know? And it just creates negativity. I know the other night we, you were looking at the, the, super, well, the, the chat on the live streaming of the Google of mine. And there's a lot of trolls coming out there. I mean, there were people creating accounts based on a lot of our friends and enemies and all that stuff. Yeah. And... Uh, was that kind of like the kicker to look at all these people making such an effort and did that make you say, you know what, I'm out of this? It made me think about it, but I think uh, my main goal with that is to get rid of the negativity, but also to show to people who I've apologized to do today, which will be Dr. Freedom and his mindful lady Gallifrey, uh, and perhaps be fed to uh, everyone else I don't really care about. Because to be honest, I'm quite an honest person. I'm not going to apologize right. to people who don't deserve an apology. Uh, right. So, I mean, I, I accept your apology. I mean, I'm sure they will too. I mean, I think, you know, you coming on here is genuine. It's a lot of guts for you to have the courage to just come in front of the camera and do your video and you're on here. And I think that's mem that's honorable. Well, and the, video, the video I made is uh, the seventh take. Uh, I made it, I think I broke down a few times. The reason why uh, a lot of people will watch that and they'll think it's me trying to be emotional it's not. It's actually quite much. You've got to remember, the people I'm talking about, the people I apologize to, have been my friends for several years, yeah? Yes. Um, they, they were the introduction to the podcast community. And a lot of the people who will watch that video don't know me. And they will just have an opinion of me from what other people have told them when they haven't actually spoke to me. And my video is not asking for them to forgive me. Not one point do I say, forgive me. My video is simply saying, let's have a conversation. In a Zoom or a Hangout, let's talk things out. And if it, if it's bad, we'll just go our separate ways. Right. Okay. The only way to resolve things is by talking. Well, you know what it is? Sometimes people take it a little, they need some time fresh from your video. I mean, may not happen tomorrow, may happen a week from now, may happen two weeks yeah. from now, maybe a month. Just give it some time. Maybe people will well, come around. I don't expect anything to come from that video. I, I just. It might. You thing. never know. It might. Maybe when I you think, think was, about when you think about all the stupid stuff that's happened in this community and from a stupid misunderstanding, everybody could be factions and whatever. Eventually, time heals all wounds, and people realize, oh, everybody's split because someone's like you know, 
wrong take on things that's really dumb and then people start becoming friends again it's like an open door i mean you never know something could happen today for all we, we know became friends. we became friends due to me falling out with old friends and actually giving you a chance uh i have a, i'll say this live and i quite warm to you i used to think very negatively i still think you have some of your quirks should we say okay <laughs> Uh, I know I like a lot of pizza. That's, that's I can't no, help that. I'd say, no. uh, I'd say uh, you respond to uh, sometimes you respond to negativity, but but that's usually because you're very passionate. But it's just and, and again, I, I do want to say, and I'll let you talk. I I just want to get this one thing out there. I mean, I hear jokes in here, and sometimes things bother me more than usual. But the way I think about it is that I really love Doctor Who. And if I didn't love Doctor Who, I wouldn't do almost a thousand podcasts and Doctor Who and videos. And I even, I mean, I just devote, I don't think I would be a writer if it wasn't for Doctor Who. I don't think I would, I would think I'd be completely different if I didn't have that imagination from the start. Because then everything else spawned from that. I started watching other things from that. So I, I owe a lot to Doctor Who. And, you know, I'm very critical to a Doctor Who sometimes because I don't want it to, um, I don't, I'm, I fear cancellation. I always have that fear from the original mm -hmm. time. And it was basically canceled twice, if you think about it, with Paul McGann. I think so. you know, with BBC cancel stuff, it's quite dangerous. Apart from Ripper Street, uh, when BBC cancel shows, it's quite bad because- But didn't Ripper Street continue on Netflix or something? That's why I'm saying that's an exception. Usually, if a BBC cancel show, they withhold the license and Netflix and Amazon cannot take it from us, you know? Right. They don't want to give it to anyone. <clears throat> <clears throat> would be far, far better on Netflix or Amazon. You'd have yeah. more investment, probably more spin-off series like Eight Doctor Adventures. You know, there's so many things they do. Right. On Netflix, Amazon, which is why part of me wants it to be dead. But if it does die, would that happen? Probably <clears> not. <throat> Maybe can hold on to it because it's a cash cow. Right. Uh, but I will say, I like the direction of the season. I know we disagree. There's some episodes. I mean, actually, there is something we agree on. We both like Oxygen. Most of the community seems to hate that episode. I love the Oxygen. I'm, I got to tell really? you. Um, I gave again, it a 10 out of the first day, but I went back down to a 9 afterwards. I got to tell you, I felt with, with Oxygen, we got to see genuine emotion from Bill. And we got yeah. to see what would she do if she's about to die all these many occasions when she ran out of oxygen and she, you see everybody running around with her perspective. And I like that. Phil Mackey is a fantastic actress. She and when she was going to die a second time, I thought it was very, it struck a nerve like it hit me when she screamed, mom, like, you know, calling out for her mother that she was going to die, you know? And it was like, you know, maybe in the back of her head, she thought, well, hey, he has a time machine. I know we visited my mother now because I put one like two and two together. Maybe there would have been an opportunity I could have seen my mother with him using a TARDIS, and now I'll never have that opportunity. And I think that was part of the thing why she screamed mom because she never got to meet her mother, but she could have met her mother with the doctor's help. You know, So I felt that was an emotional scene. It was also an emotional scene for me that Capaldi – had that epic speech, which I thought was a speech. And, you know, he's like, it's the suits, like whatever, like he was talking about it. And the way he looked, the way he acted it out, I mean, even blind, he is so, like, he's so intelligent and smart that he can tell where the keyboard is and things without even looking at it and just sensing and knowing what he's doing. Like he's running a whole program, fail safe, blind. So that, that's got to be, I mean, I don't think all time lords could do that. I think he's just, you know, I loved Oxygen because he didn't do the zombie thing. I thought it was going to be classic right. zombie. So that was good. I like. Uh, I was a fan of Bill at first. First episode, I like. We both disagree, but I like Pilot. I am not a fan of Smile. It's a. It's a. It only passes. Smile only gets a six slash seven for me because Capaldi's excellent. Uh, Bill was awful in Smile, in my opinion. Uh, for nice, I, thought, I agree with that. Good. I liked Finice. It was going more promising. In fact, it's my favorite this season because Capaldi is so good at Finice. So good. Yeah. You know, with the punch yes. in the guy in the face and stuff. Uh, then episode four. Hi, uh, what was episode four called? Uh, knock, knock. knock. Yeah. Um, despised. I, I'm going to be honest. I, I liked the episode kind of-ish. Right. Despised Bill in the episode. I was like, oh, I'm not a fan of Bill again. This episode, Oxygen, uh, it won me over again with Bill. 
and now she's she's it's one of my favorite companions of the new show mm. uh Nardo is also excellent yeah oxygen is a i don't know how people can follow that episode really good episode an extremist uh, good but only uh but can't give a full opinion so i'll see the next two episodes yeah i gotta tell you originally i probably would have ripped that episode of shreds had I not experienced things throughout the day that day. But then I saw it as, you know what, everybody takes something from somewhere. And I, I saw what he tried to do, like a nod to the Matrix movies and a nod to this. And it was like, okay. And I, I actually liked it. You know, I liked it. I probably would have liked it better if it was real because I don't like reset yeah, buttons during the center of the toilet type I'm of thing. I'm not very good fan of the computer stuff. Because you know what it is I'm, now? Every interview that you have, he's saying, oh, what will I put Bill through next? Well, you didn't put Bill through anything because it was a video game fake character. Like that never happened in continuity. So that's why I, that's what I get annoyed. It's like, well, everybody's supposed to be like, yeah, when she met, no, she never met the Pope. So I just, it, I just judged it by the, the scenes I enjoyed. Right. I loved the Missy scenes. And I, I think the scene where the dots is blind with the monks is probably one of the best scenes I've seen dots for a long time. Yeah. Very creepy. Cool. So I just judged it off the scenes I enjoy. I just judge things what I enjoy. For example, everyone, everyone I know loves the episode of Listen. I despise it. Yeah. Uh, I guarantee you will like Listen. <laughs> I like Nobody Listen, does. but I don't yeah. like Clara being the one that shapes them. I mean, just like I don't like her choosing the TARDIS or uh, a lot of these things, I don't like Clara being the center of everything. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But I, I also so don't like that he did the opposite where he made it that she's a very flawed character and she caused the death of a boyfriend and all this she's stupid that she made the the the, the um the raven thing on i mean i i don't i i know he was angry very think, likeable so. character it's yeah. very hard to like clara you'd have to I be liked a bit her. yeah you have to be a bit dim-witted to like clara because she's written that's quite a bad i don't book. think you have to be dim-witted to like the character because he i saw a lot of things in her like sarah jane smith and different things and I really liked her character. I, I liked her character more with Matt Smith than that, with I agree. Capaldi. I completely agree. A uh, good episode to example would be Cold War. She's excellent in Cold War. Absolutely. I hate her in Cold War. I think she does nothing in Cold I, War. I love her in Cold War. <laughs> I wow. think I, maybe it's biased because I find Clara, well, I find Jenna quite attractive and she looks so smoking hot in that episode. So it probably is that. Uh, I quite liked her name of the Doctor. Yeah, I did too. I love Name of the Doctor. I think it's a good episode. It took a little while with me because immediately, I don't know, I just wasn't... I, I don't like how things were thrust together so fast. I mean, my, my main argument with that was that they should have put the great intelligence in two other episodes. One being, um, you know, the Crimson Horror and another one to more build up that he's the threat of the season. And... Even Moffat admitted that he should have did that, and he didn't. Because the people, snowman, the great intelligence made sense because he's always used the Yeti in the past. The snow were quite similar. But you know what it is? Even like Moffat said, nobody, not a lot of the newbies know that. Yeah, exactly. Honestly, I think they should have just brought the Yeti back after the snowman. Yeah. I think it would have made sense. I thought they were going to come back. Somebody was saying it was all description and. I remember we had these things before season started. And they're like, oh, the Yeti coming back. Omega's coming back. And they showed all these fake things. And meanwhile, they never came back. Yeah. The Yeti are awesome. Every episode they've been in, they're really creepy in the Trouton area. So Yeah. I thought they were going to be in a Christmas special, but yeah. Yeah, there was a very good scene with the Yeti and the Five Doctors, actually. Very creepy. So the Yeti yes. have always been quite creepy. Uh, just to conclude with me, like I said, I've been in the podcast community for a while. There's no ill will against anyone apart from should we say some certain trolls in the community? Right. Uh, probably the only people that you dislike, I probably dislike at this point. <laughs> but camera works mysterious ways. And I think, I think we both know that camera yes. is. The way I feel people. is like, you know, you could di- like everybody can have their perception of things. Like, and you know, something can happen tomorrow and everybody could forgive you and you could be on everybody's show, you know, and, and something could happen with me where, you know, somebody started something and, and next thing you know, they're popping up on my show. Like, you know, who I knows? think uh, too, many, too many bridges have been burned with the other group. The only thing I want from them is conversation. I don't want anything else. I don't deserve anything else. That's all I want. I don't think I'm ever going to get that though, because uh, the issue, the issue with um, a lot of other groups is definitely with that group, as much respect as I have for freedom and the others, 
Um, a lot of them don't really think for themselves, unfortunately. And that's that's how it is in the community. And that's not really an insult. That's just... Um, it's very easy for people to follow the leader. And people yeah. like, you know, this one's evil. Make sure you think he's evil too. And they're like, okay, you know, without even knowing the person. Well, the thing so. is, I have done bad things and I deserve the way they think of me. Uh, I'm very sincere in that apology. Uh, to the people to the people I mentioned that video, I do mean it. To the people I don't mention that video, I don't give two shits what you think. Right. Sorry. Um, and that's pretty much how it's going to be. Uh, and the great thing about me is I, I quite enjoy, uh, because I've trolled so many people in the past, it doesn't really affect me if people do it to me. To be honest, I kind of deserve it. And I don't mind. Uh, the only thing is with the trolls on your channel is they're quite boring. They're not very adventurous. You know, at least try. You know what I mean? Right. Well, don't give me any ideas. But I... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good point, yeah. I mean, at least ask me some advice. Come on, guys. You're not even trying with these. You're these the guys. true master of advice. <laughs> oh, yeah. The, the we had all these names. The old troll, this troll, that troll. What would you... If you yes. had to put a name to yourself, what would you be called? Well, as a troll account. As like, you know, like you have that, you have the old troll, which we know who that is. And then we have... Jacob the Troll. What, you, what kind of name would you call you? The Master Troll? Well, I don't troll people anymore. No, back so then, I mean. Back then. What would you uh, dub I yourself? I to make accounts. Honestly, when I made comments, I usually always did it on my main account. Most of the time. Okay. If I remember correctly, I did have a Steam turd account. I right. Okay. From. So we're going to call you the Forgotten Troll, I guess, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, the Nameless uh, One. I don't know. Oh, there's one what's bugging me. I can't remember the name of it. Uh, oh, it's going to keep Well, you're Barry me. Allen, but you're not all the Barry Allen. There's a whole bunch of Barry Allens, right? Barry, Barry Allen's a very popular character. Yes. The Barry troll Allen. accounts that have been of late. Like, like comments only. Okay. Because uh, that was the whole point. That's First of all, can I just say, the people who leave troll comments as Barry Allen obviously don't watch The Flash because Barry Allen's a good guy. He's one of the yeah. good guys. Well, that's the point of trolling, I guess. They, they oh, know that. Avatar or something. He's the bad person. But that's the whole thing. They know they're being nonsense. That's the way they're doing that. You know, it's like like the master, yeah. the doctor, mistress, and all these other accounts are attacking lately. You know, so, I mean, well, it is what it is. I mean, people could spend their lives doing law fairs, bad-mouthing people, and, and then other people trolling, or people could just do something constructive. Like, you're starting your podcast, right? You're going to be starting yeah, to like, do your the stuff. Legacy, the Legacy podcast is returning. Please dislike everyone. The, the more dislikes, the more it will return. <laughs> right. Because uh, that means you watch the, the video if you dislike it. Uh, yes, yeah, so Legacy is returning, which is exciting. Uh, anyone as well. Can you hear me, James? Oh. Yeah, I can hear you. You're just frozen. Oh, I'm frozen. Just something's going on with my computer. Of all days that I'm going to do the Real Wings Cast 1000, my computer's not functional. All right. The worst. Computers don't like oh, people. I know. Uh, All right. Sorry, you can't see my ugly face. <laughs> right, they can they can see my ugly face instead. It's fine. Oh, oh right, you disappeared. <laughs> All right. So what's next for you? You're gonna do podcasts. That's what you're gonna do. You're gonna stay in the community, yeah, obviously. I make this cast iron guarantee. I'll never make a troll video or troll account again. Cool. Irregardless of what happens. Cool. That'll be difficult because I do love making videos. I really do. Well, it's one thing to make funny videos, and another thing to make troll videos. I mean, you know. Uh, the thing is, when I make funny videos, that's why I deleted them all. Is because I just get tempted to make. Uh, because there's a lot of people. Let me be honest. There's a lot of good people in this community. There is a lot of people in this community who I'm honest about, but a lot of people are not honest about. Uh, should I say the dynamic man? Now you won't know who that is, Joe, but a lot of people do. Most people hate the dynamic man, but won't say it to the dynamic man's face. I would. That's probably a problem with me. Uh, I, I'm never going to make a troll video again. I can't. Make, the only thing I can do is podcast because I can't really troll on them. Yeah. Right. And I'm safe. But what I will do is I will edit for anyone who wants intros and stuff and help people out. I think that's what I'll do in my free time, like with you, maybe. That's cool. That would be nice to, to update. <laughs> Yeah, positive things, not negative. Right. Okay. Uh, uh, so, I'm not going to write any books, don't worry. No, okay. <laughs> Listen, and I, I, I'm, I'm not like other people, you are free to do whatever podcast you like and still come 
on my show. I don't care. That's that's what I really want is people to do other people's podcasts. Well, even if even if Freedom came to me now and said, you're welcome back on the Open Files, which you won't, by the way, I'll decline because it would create bad tension there. People hate me over there, so it's pointless to create a rift in the community. Yeah? Nobody it, should hate anybody, really. Well, Dislike is one word, but hate is a very strong word. You gotta do something. You gotta do something really crazy to to have that title of hate. Like, I don't know what it would be. Maybe yeah. create a hoovie two war or something. But whatever. I, I mean, apologize to them. But they they received a video apology. It's the best I could do, and uh, you know, move on from that. Yeah. It's just, uh, I know. You know what? Everybody eventually forgives everybody. So you know, hopefully. So yeah, maybe hopefully. things will go away for you, and you could just continue on with them too. Yeah. I'm not going to be talking to the Australian trolls, though. That's a line I won't cross. Sorry. Um, let's not get into that. That was the whole new <laughs> chain <laughs> of uh, yeah, events. They're coming up again, won't they? Matrix one, two, one, two, one, one, two, one. <laughs> yeah. I remember that. I, I love that. I had to record that because that was the most funniest line I ever heard. But anyway, yeah. all cool. right. So yeah, that, I'm, up here. Um, I'm very excited for Dot 2 tonight. I'm really tired, so I'm not sure if I can stay up to it. That's okay. Um, I'm going to let you rest, and I'm going to be doing another podcast you, very shortly. When are we going to review the next episode? Sunday? Or the, I'm going right to watch the episode tonight when it's going to air on BBC America, which right now the time is what? Let me see. It is 1.43 in the afternoon for me. So I'm going to watch it. At nine yeah, o'clock tonight, which for okay. you would be five hours later than that, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Okay, it'll be yes. two o'clock. Two o'clock in the morning for you, I think. Well, I might, I might go for a nap and wake up and watch it a bit later anyway. So okay. we'll see. I'm gonna good try good. to see when we can do this 1,000th episode again. As always, it's probably gonna be spontaneous because I really can't schedule these things. Um, and. I'm going to try to do multiple episodes of 1,000 so nobody's left out. No, Don't get mad if you're not in, a, in episode A because it's all going to be 1,000. It's just, I, you know, it depends. Some people can't be in the Zoom and some people can't be in the Google, and I have to cater to both. So I'm that's what Google we're. Hangouts. So I like the Zoom, but not everybody does. So Worth the money. Yeah. It's way better. Yeah, so, all right, James, this was your world, episode two. Thank you, James. Yeah, pos positivity, guys. Uh, sorry for the, the harm I've committed in anyone, and uh, positivity going forwards. All right, guys, take care. Bye for now.